A day at the beach turned into a nightmare for a 12-year-old Indiana girl who contracted a flesh-eating disease. Kylie Brown visited Destin Beach in Florida earlier this month. As she was heading home, she felt a pain in her leg, which quickly turned into swelling and a fever. Doctors discovered she contracted a rare, aggressive, flesh-eating bacterial infection from Gulf of Mexico waters. She got it through a scratch on her toe. 27 First News reporter Brittany Bissell talked with an infectious disease specialist to find out what people need to be aware of if they're visiting beaches this summer. Every year, millions of people visit the ocean, potentially living in those salt waters, a bacteria called Vibrio. Certain Vibrio can cause an infection when an open wound is exposed to salt water. You don't want to go into the beach with anything cut or open. You don't want to have an open wound, sore, etc. And then go out to the beach, go onto the sand, especially going out into the water itself with an open lesion. Vin Glarchik says even if you're wearing a bandage over the wound, you can still get infected. 80% of infections occur between May and October when water temperatures are warmer. Many infections are caused by a strain of bacteria called Vibrio vulnificus, or flesh-eating bacteria. In Florida, 397 people were infected and 108 died between 2008 to 2018. The whole central part of the United States drains down into there and so all the pollution all the sewage all that gets there and then spreads out into the gulf of mexico anyone can get a vibrio vulnificus infection some of the symptoms to look out for redness tenderness pain fever pain when moving an extremity. Vinglarchik says these infections are rare but serious and can even lead to limb amputation. He advises seeking immediate medical attention if you are at the beach and develop these symptoms. If this is something developing rapidly and it's happening over a period of six, eight hours like the flesh eating bacteria, you can watch that spread. And if you see that occur, um, then you need to get to an emergency room quickly. Vinglarchik says these infections can occur on other coastal waters besides the Gulf. He also advises not swimming in fresh water if you have open wounds. Brittany Bissell, WKBN 27 First News.